When it comes to weddings, everyone wants to march to their own tune. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? Dark and disturbed. Please tell me she didn't want this on the cake. There is no credit card, no down payment, no nothing. I wish I could be drunk to do it. Eh? <gasps> Ugh. They don't pay me enough to do this. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get ready, and you're calling me every two seconds. Weddings are rousing. Weddings are a riot. Weddings are rocking and rolling your pennies. Meet Frank and Ashley, just married. Did they have the budget fit for a king and queen of rock and roll? Lace up your corset, but don't hold your breath. You're about to find out. My name is Ashley. I'm 22 years old and I have a baby girl named Skylar. Four years ago, I saw Frank singing for his band, Lucifuge. At that point, I knew he was the one. I've always wanted to get married in a way that sets me apart from the rest. Here's the story of our rock and roll wedding. Weddings and money, like Ashley and Frank, are an inseparable duet. They rely completely on each other. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on what our Newlyweds Roadshow actually cost. I just wanted a very small, intimate family wedding. He wanted the big wedding, but I'm not comfortable with it. What did I say? I wanted a big-ass wedding. Frank, why do we have the wedding? I want my whole family to be there. All my family will be very upset if we just go away by ourselves and get married. So therefore, we got married and had a big-ass no, wedding. No, uh, I said the immediate family. In the end, the wedding may have brought down the house, but it wasn't always a stairway to heaven. Let's turn back the hands of time and see what really happened. My expectations for the wedding planner is that she just helped through everything, not to have any stress on my head or Frank's. Meet Angelique, wedding planner and newly appointed roadie. With over 10 years' experience, she thought she'd seen it all. Until she met Frank and Ashley, that is. Bride and grooms come to me, one, they need a decent uh, venue, or they need to find something cheaper. I'm a buffer for family. I'm the person they can blame things on. So why don't you give me your overall vision of what you'd like to see happen? Something classy, but rock and roll at the same time. Dark and disturbed. Dark and disturbed. <laughs> no. Dark and disturbed. That's a new term. I've never heard that before for a wedding. Red and white and black. Now, that's obviously the color theme. Is leather going to be part of the theme as well? Yeah. I'll be wearing a white leather wedding dress, short, mm -hmm. and then a pair of, like, really big stripper boots that I oh, like. Oh, the big, big ones. A good excuse to be able to wear them for one night. <laughs> For the theme of our wedding, I think we'll be able to accomplish everything with our budget and then some more. So how many guests are you intending to invite? Intending to invite about 190. 190. Expected to come 175. My parents uh, contribute financially pretty well. and All the family members on my side of the wedding are paid through by my parents. My mom, she likes to be involved in a lot of things. She knows when she needs to stop. <laughs> Ah, oh, a mama's boy. True to the end. She's creative, and I created the champagne glasses. Are you going to get married in a church and have... We're not going to do a church. We're just going to do it at City Hall. And we're not allowed to decorate or anything, so that okay. isn't very fun, but <laughs> I want to get it over with as soon as we can. So the ceremony part is not the focus. No. So it's the party that happens yeah. afterwards. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Working with a non-traditional couple but excited at the same time because I'm looking forward to seeing how I can make their wedding memorable. Do you have invitations? I'm going to make them all myself. How about a wedding cake? I designed the wedding cake oh, you myself. Oh, Yeah. It's going to be a three-layer cake, but squares instead of the traditional round. What is your idea for your table centerpieces? Um, I want to do a vase with a fish. Like little silver and black ones, because goldfish have googly, ugly eyes. So I don't <laughs> want those. Okay. So something cute. If you're going to do fish in the table, do you think people might eat them? Eat at your own risk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll kind of recap what you've told me. Colors are red, white, and black. And then you yourself will be in a white leather gown, but it'll be short dress. Yeah. Okay, we're going with a traditional wedding with an edgy rock theme. I think I'm ready to see what your budget is. 
If you can present that, that'd be great. Okay. Coming up, this is something that I should be charging for that I'm not, and I'm not 100% happy about that. A bride should wear white. Well, I didn't like white, so I sort of um, shocked a few people that I wore pink, but um, I was quite happy with it. Look nice. Look real nice. <laughs> Thank you. When it comes to spending money on their wedding, Frank and Ashley were willing to pay for their heavy metal. Dark and disturbed. No. Dark and disturbed. That's a new term. I've never heard that before for a wedding. But how much were they willing to spend for the whole production? At the end of the show, we'll reveal just how much Ashley and Frank paid for their dark and disturbed wedding. After I watched the movie The Doors, and he was wearing leather pants, and he had a nice white puffy shirt, and his chest was pretty much exposed and nothing else. And I mean, I thought that that was an excellent shot, or that was an excellent uh, outfit, and it would do me well. Look at that. There's Even no Even got the poofs. No way. What about this one? Come on, no poofs. Very similar. It looks like it's been in the laundry. Even their baby, Skylar, doesn't like it. That's nice. Yeah. No, it's got like a shiny. Pleather tie. Not even. Ashley doesn't like the puffy shirts. What's this? Yeah. With a nice black dress shirt underneath. I would like that. It's you not like poofy. Yeah, and it's dressy. Glad you dropped the poof, because image okay. is everything for a rock star. The look I was going for was like porn starish kind of look. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I looked at other wedding dresses and looked like a ridiculous clown in one, so. It's because of your short legs. What I actually really wanted was a good old fashioned wedding. Um, a mini dress made of leather? Doesn't every bride? So, what do you think? I'm just concerned about the length. And just this part here. We'll pull it in a little bit here. Looks like it's pretty minor stuff. So as long as it just fits good when yep. it should. With a few adjustments from the bride, her tiny dress had the unique look of leather and lace. But does her mother know she's going out in public wearing that? For flowers, originally, I wanted to do everything possible to cut the cost of them. Now, what are we looking for flowers for? Bouquet, corsages? Just bouquet and corsage. Okay. No reception. No Nothing chat. for the reception? No. You do not want them for centerpieces? We'll stay away from them. Are you serious? Yes. Okay, I, I like, like turning. roses if we have to really? pick a flower. It sounds so painful <laughs> if I have to pick if a flower. If I have to. Okay. Uh, you're looking for about $100 a bouquet. And then to do a bridesmaid bouquet, which would deal smaller, smaller version? Smaller version of that. You'd be looking at a half the price. So anywhere from 50 maybe yeah. 75 mm -hmm. for the maid of yeah. honor? Mm -hmm. Only roses would do for Ashley, but she wasn't willing to pay a florist. I think that's a good price. I'd rather not spend the extra money on flowers. I can purchase them wholesale. However, you will have to put them together yourself. Angelique was intent on showing Ashley just how much work that would take. They're going to have your flower cutters. You need wires. I hate the word flower. Crystals. You'll need pins. You're going to want to make sure that if you're using greens, that your greens are wet. I was also kind of hoping to overwhelm her a little bit so that she would understand that, you know what, maybe it is a lot that I'm taking on I and I should hire somebody. Bit. Best of intentions, but it backfired on you now, didn't it? Poor Angelique wound up having to step in and arrange the flowers herself. This is something that I should be charging for that I'm not, and I'm not 100% happy about that, but it's all part of the job, right? From the beginning, if we were to have a cake, I knew what I already wanted, but then Frank and I discussed it, and we were like, what do we need a cake for, in all honesty? We were just gonna get like a Texas Mickey and have everyone take a shot instead of have a slice of cake. And then Maria said that it's a needed thing. Whoa! With the danger of alcohol poisoning looming, it was time for Frank's mom, Maria, to step in and buy them a cake. We were looking at four layer cake, wet and black and white ribbon, and then um, the very top is going to be the stand, and that's where we're going to put the fresh flowers. All right, how much will that going to come out to? It'll be $150. $450? That's a lifetime supply of black eyeliner. Is that within our budget right now? I was I looking slightly lower, but maybe we'll have to take it down a layer. You think? 
it's up to Maria. After all, it's her dime. How much I, would, I would that recommend come down? Fifty dollars off. Fifty dollars off. Yeah. Is there no way we could like do the four layer cake? Yes. With less people. Ashley. Mm-hmm. Will you sit back for a day or two and let's see? Yeah. Okay. Sounds All right. good. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yo. A day or two? Yeah. Huh? Try permanently. Well, Maria designed a cake with another baker. Was it Ashley who ordered it? It was Maria, her mom. She ordered Her mother-in-law. Mother-in-law to be yeah. right. Yeah. So she picked out square? She picked out square. Okay, great. I love it. It kind of bothered me that I didn't get to see the wedding cake until the day, because I came up with almost every concept for that entire wedding, and I really wanted everything specific. We didn't want to get married at City Hall after we spoke to Angelique. Good for a shotgun wedding. Yeah, for like a shotgun wedding if you don't really care. My suggestion is getting married at the Panamonte. So you don't need to send out another invitation, just tell everyone to arrive at the same time and all of a sudden let them realize that, you know what, we're getting married here in front of you. We should have went to Cuba like we originally planned. Best laid plans. So what's the cost on that little switch? You know, for an extra room, it's not that much. It's only $1,500. $1,500? $1,500, but remember, you're saving $1,300 because you're no longer needing the limo to take you from point A, B, C, and D. True, but I could just take that money and just pocket it. And... I planned everything in this wedding, so... Yes, we'll take it. You take it? The hell? It's nice. It's a well, nice we know who wears the leather pants in their relationship. Yeah. Coming like, out. No, we don't want it. There is no credit card, no down payment, no nothing. Plate was about yeah. $35. We had plate. probably a five and course dinner. And it was dinner. Italian type wedding. Five course dinner I for mean, $35 a plate, you wouldn't you don't even get that touch anymore. that anymore. anymore. No. <laughs> no matter how carefully you budget, when planning a wedding, there's always surprises. You know, for an extra room, it's not that much. It's only $1,500. $1,500. Thank goodness Frank had his mom Maria to help put her two cents in. Her wish came true. At the end of the show, we'll let you in on exactly what they spent to make their big day a hot ticket event. The dress was designed, the leather pants were snug, and the cake had been ordered. What could possibly go wrong? Well, for starters, whether or not the bride's stage fright would prevent her from making it down the aisle. The rehearsal went not very good on my part. I felt sick to my stomach and I was just, I was really nervous. So right now, Ashley, where do you want to stand for your finishing position when you take your vows? Behind the curtain somewhere? Else? No. Come on, stand up. Frank, come on up here as well. I'm going to put you up top first and I want you both to see how it feels. Honestly, it sounds terrible, but I wish I could be drunk to do it. Because, like, <laughs> you can't drink. You have to be of full mental capacity. Time for some well needed advice. I know you're nervous about your shoes. Walk barefoot. If that is really, truly one of the biggest concerns. I'm more scared with the boots, but I'm scared, like, regardless. OK. Mm -hmm. I do not want a bride fainting on me. Right, she can, like, fall into my arm. Right, and then he holds oh, me for the rest of the <laughs> I can have two chairs up there for you that if you feel uncomfortable, you can sit down. I think it's a good idea. As an experienced professional, Angelique thought she'd heard it all. And now we're going to switch to the music. You guys wait. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> this is your wedding song? No, no. Their guests were definitely in for a treat. The morning of was pretty relaxed. For us, it was like, just go to the salon. Everything was very, very laid back. I love it. It's the biggest car I've ever had, ever. <laughs> Angela pretty much handled anything. Kind of like going to a restaurant. You finish your drink, and the next one's there before you even have a chance to go waiter. Today being wedding day, I've still got a number of things to do. I have to put out all the place cards. There should be gifts there for the parents as well. Yes, they're bottles of liquor. Isn't that nice? We also need to create the bouquets for the bridal party, which I'll be doing right from scratch. The bouquets are costing just the cost of the flowers, which was $65. Um, I'm not charging Ashley any labor cost, any cost for ribbon, tape, nothing. I need to okay, decorate the centerpieces, the add the fish. Oh, those things. That's ugly. Who wants to be looking at something like that while you're eating dinner? Ew. They have big, bulgy eyes. Come on. Oh, what, with my hands? I don't want to hurt it. Ugh. You know what? They don't pay me enough to do this. <laughs> got a lot to do still. Hi, Maria. 
idea. But there were still a few more surprises in store for Angelique, courtesy of an overzealous mother. Hi. Balloons? What the hell is this all about? Please tell me she didn't want this on the cake. Where did you want this, Maria? Anywhere you want to put it. A wedding starts taking on a life of its own, and I understand it comes down to money. It's who's paying for what. But when push comes to shove, financial mix-ups can happen. When the whole limo disaster started, I started getting really pissed off because some Joe Blow shows up with a limo and says that I We're rent your men. To and yeah. Another guy walks in. No, I'm your man. There's two limousine companies here saying that we had a limousine booked with them. I don't know. I'll be down there in like five minutes. Like I'm trying to get ready, and you're calling me every two seconds. Goodbye. There is no credit card, no down payment, no nothing. I have a full paid limo, and these people are like, oh yeah. Call the credit card company, cancel payment, done, get rid of it. What credit Go card? There is no credit card. We never went and had a meeting with them and signed anything, did we? I didn't do anything. There's yeah. nothing to yeah. figure out, though, even like I don't even want to deal with it ever. Like, I know. After a lot of debate, the happy couple took a stand and decided to send the extra limo on its way without any pay. Coming up. I feel they don't show, then I'm sorry. Then they need to get all that money back. They made uh, just a very simple cake. That's what I wanted. I didn't want a little bride and groom at the top of the cake, nothing. I just wanted something simple. That's me. I'm simple. <laughs> well, don't use those phrases. <laughs> When it's time to take your wedding vows, you may be ready and willing, but remember, it's I do, but at what cost? No matter what the budget, is it ever enough? Soon, we'll show you just how much it cost Ashley and Frank to rock the house on their big day. Once we actually walked through the, f like the front doors and everyone was like so excited and overwhelmed by the guitar, it kind of took some of the stress off because they were like, hey, this is going to be cool. During the ceremony, I was just like, okay, when are you gonna say, like, you can kiss your bride? Hurry up, this is boring. And then finally she said it and I was happy. From the moment I met you and you stared in my eyes, I tightened your leash and claimed you as mine. In closing these vows, I end with one more. The strip clubs I've been to, I will go with no more. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. Give me some sugar, baby. Our whole overall wedding day was perfect. Close to perfect. Nothing's perfect. I am. It was a wedding worthy of a page in rock and roll history, until the music came to an abrupt halt. I'm actually calling to find out where the DJ is. I have no idea. They have not showed up yet. They said that they would be here by 5 o'clock ready and set up. I mean, if you're just an answering service, do they check in with you? OK. The company isn't even answering. It's an answering service. Oh, the irony. A heavy metal reception with no music. I need to find some DJs. Okay. Do you know of anybody we could call? Yeah, maybe we can find somebody. The sound of silence was not exactly what Frank had bargained on. So at this point, I've asked Tony to call one of his friends. And if his friend gets here before sets up and we're ready to go... These guys already paid it. Well, that's the other thing, and that's the thing I feel. If they don't show, then I'm sorry. Then they need to give all that money back. Oh, just a minute. The DJ's here. You guys need to get yourself a cell phone, man. We've been trying to call you guys. But don't forget to cancel your backups. He's here. If you can call your friend right away. He's in the way. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, Tony. We had to have a backup, and unfortunately, these guys are late. I'm in a situation that's very, very tough. Because you're late. Like, this guy's on his way here, and he's expecting to have work. Like, I, I suggest talking to your manager, maybe offering these guys some compensation. Then. What is, we do that? Like, I won't even get paid for this thing. I'll, I'll, well, I already paid, I already paid you guys. The, let's... I'll take your suggestion, though. I agree with you. Finally, the reception was ready to rock. The overall reception look brought everything together because it made it more classy. It made dark and disturbed classy. It's not dark and disturbed. Oh, it was but dark and disturbed. It makes We're it so just... disturbed, it's dark. It was a night to remember where the fun flowed as freely as the drinks. Now that we're married, I'm quite happy. Little does she know the divorce papers are right around the corner. Now I'm only kidding. <laughs> She's the most beautiful bride in the world. I love her very much. Yes, but how much did their love cost? Time to face the music. 
The original budget that I gave Angelique was $20,000. A cake is a cake is a cake. It was nice of my mom to get it, but it's still a cake. Angelique did a very good job with the flowers. It was definitely worth $65. Ashley looked beautiful in her dress. Uh, it was well worth the $764. Angelique is a fantastic wedding planner. You can't ask for more. She's perfect. And her fee was $1,900. Additional costs, including DJ, transportation, and centerpieces, came to $6,588. I'm happy we went with the Penamonte for the ceremony and the reception. It cost us $12,000. What we actually spent was $21,317, a total difference of $1,317. Spent a little more money, but everything was perfect in the end. It was. The couple is on fire, their budget is extinguished, and their wedding rocked. The only question left is, is this a wedding party or a cast reunion for the Rocky Horror Picture Show? We had a real nice wedding, uh, yeah. uh, but the reception is better forgotten. This high Park has lots of little parkettes around, yeah. and we ended he up going to the smaller party. one. He sticks the whole party. It looks like we're in front when of you... a penitentiary. Mark.